Hi, um, for those of you who don't know me, first of all, I'd like to change that and would love to meet you. But my name is Micah Verwe, I'm 17 and I'm in grade 12 at EDSS. I wanted to start off by saying that the only reason I can give my testimony today is because of the testimony of Jesus Christ. And his testimony is far more important than anything I could ever say or share. I am flawed, but God's grace is bigger than my sins and I will continue to try to shape my life to be more like the way he wants it to be. With that being said, this is my testimony. I was born into a Christian home and accepted Jesus as my savior at Sobble Beach Community Church with my grandma and papa by my side. I can remember accepting Christ as my savior and then going back to the cottage only to be very disappointed that my grandma put touching tomatoes on my plate. To me, accepting Christ as my savior was not a big deal, as you can tell but I re about what I remember that day and I didn't fully understand what being saved meant. My grandparents helped me understand the meaning of my actions and had a huge impact on my spiritual journey. Whenever I slept over at their house, we would wake up and do morning devotionals or go volunteer at numerous places, and they inspired me so much. They lived their lives for Christ, and it is so evident. After seeing how God had such an impact on my grandparents, I realized that I didn't know God, but I knew that I wanted to. So I started reading my Bible and I loved learning new things. So I read my Bible and I knew the answers. I just didn't know the God behind them. My inspiration to actually start walking with Christ started when I noticed how God affected people and how they seemed so perfect and I wanted what they had. That was the basis for comparison. Fast forward a couple years and a lot changed. High school to be exact. I was no longer mesmerized with God but with people. I needed to make everyone happy, I needed to make everyone like me, and I strived for perfection. And it was really hard when I didn't live up to my own standards that were gratefully influenced by a secular world's views. The world was telling me I needed to be all these things and I believed it. So I gave up on God and I became a people pleaser. The only person I was not focused on pleasing was God himself. This mindset was vicious because it caused me to be disappointed in myself and it caused me to doubt my worth. If my goal was to get a 90 on a test, I would work really hard and achieve that. But once I had achieved the thing that the world deemed good, I still felt the same. I had become someone I didn't want to be, and I was at the point in my life where I felt nothing. I realized that I was using the world's standards to give myself worth. I was getting from people what I would only be able to get from God. I still struggle with self-esteem and finding my worth through Christ, but I find so much reassurance and the fact that I know that I am the daughter of the king, and I'm not a mistake. I would rather be what God chose to make me than the most amazing thing that I could ever think of. For to have been born in God's thoughts and made by God is the greatest and most reassuring thing I could ever imagine. While I was realizing this, I finally had the guts to apply at Conestoga Bible Camp, and it was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. I met God with all my brokenness and shame, and for the first time in my life, I gave it all to him. Jesus wants to take our burdens, and he did so on the cross. Camp gave me a community with so many amazing new mentors and friends. They were always around to chat, play games with, and be goofy around, but they were also there to encourage me in my faith and stand alongside me. I definitely wouldn't be up here if it wasn't for camp. Camp let me see firsthand that not only is Jesus alive, but he is changing lives. Up at camp, I had a camper who was my little buddy, I personally think she hated me, but she didn't have any friends up at camp, so I was her backup plan, and I loved every second of it. In the beginning of the session, this camper took my Bible and tried to put it in the garbage when I tried to tell her about Jesus. And then on the last day of camp, she came up and asked me if I would pray with her as she accepted Christ as her Savior. Wow, the God that I serve can do amazing things, and that camper opened my heart. This past year, I realized that I wasn't content with the relationship I had with Christ, and I never want to be satisfied with our relationship. I want it to keep growing. I don't want to be walking with Christ. I want to be running with him. And Jesus is the only one who can define me. I sin, I am flawed, and I don't deserve God's love and grace, but he gives it to me every time. I want to get baptized today to publicly declare that I love Jesus. He is my savior and redeemer. And for that, I am eternally grateful. So I will continue to try to make my testimony reflect the testimony of my Savior.
praying for Micah this morning is Jen Brubaker, a friend of Micah's. Um, Micah, first of all, I want to say I love you a lot. And I'm um, so proud of you for making this decision today in front of all these people. Um, I chose the verse, um, Philippians 4, 4 to 7 for you. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. God, thank you so, so much for being a good father. Um, and thank you so much for the work that you've done in Micah. It has been absolutely amazing walking with her over the last year and seeing the work that you've done in her. It, um, it blows my mind. Um, God, I pray that as she continues to walk in you, no matter what she chooses, um, no matter what she decides, no matter what she experiences, that you would be glorified in all of it. Um, yeah, would she cling to your hope and would she know who you are and who she is in you. Amen. Micah Verway, on your confession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 